I'm Carlo with Race to Walk and thanks for joining me and this is kind of my unwrap up for the month of October. But before we get started, a little bit about this channel. Here we share good thoughts about good words and on Fridays I host a live Bible study on Instagram at Race to Walk and then I publish two videos a week. I publish a replay of that Bible study with some study aids and I also publish a video about books. So if you are interested in either of those things, be sure, sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you can get updates about new videos. So I don't usually do wrap up videos and the reason is I don't read a huge amount of books like some people do. Um, I did do one back at the end of July because I had, I had actually read quite a few books and I just want to talk about how the books that I read that seemed so different were all connected. So I did it then. I'm doing this one now. I was watching a Codex Cantina's wrap up video and they were just saying, you know, we didn't really get very much engagement on our videos last month or did you not like it? it was not a good topic. And you know what I think it is? I think it's just, it's not the topic, it's the time. And that was just kind of the way that, you know, I personally, and not only did I have a hard time reading books, I didn't, really didn't even watch that many uh, videos of the booktubers that I follow. I, and I don't even know why that was. It just even felt like even just watching it was a lot for some reason. So if you've been feeling like that, hey, I'm right there with you. So this is what I actually did read, which wasn't that much. I did read, um, a book, uh, a Christian living book. Uh, it was on spiritual warfare. I'm not even going to tell you the title because I was not a fan and I wouldn't want you to go read it because I don't think it has good information. Um, somebody had mentioned it in something else that I read or an, an article or something. And now I'm seriously kind of putting that person that recommended in the iffy category. This particular book that they, they referenced, there were things in it that was just like basic facts that were wrong. So if you are misrepresenting verifiable facts, then I really can't, uh, I really can't trust you on things that I can't easily verify. So I didn't read that book. Don't recommend it. Not even going to tell you what, what it was. I did read The Invisible Life of Abby LaRue and I published a, a review on that last week. I did read that through that one pretty fast just because it got to a point where it was just kind of depressing to me. So here's my thing with, with books and reading now. I, I can read between 800 and 1,000 words a minute, which is not speed reading, but it's pretty fast. But I don't actually normally read books that fast anymore now that I've been writing because if I'm reading books that I might want to reference later on, then I'm t taking notes. Um, I might be writing down quotes so I can go back and find it easily. So usually when I'm reading good books, I'm reading them slower. This book, decided that I was going to do a review on it, but I got to about halfway through. I just started reading the rest of it the, as fast as I could just because I just wanted to get the storyline and then I didn't really want to sit and stew in that book because it was just kind of depressing to me. The other things I've been reading, I went back and I looked at a Bible study video that I did and I mentioned that I was reading the Nicomachean Ethics. That was back in August. I still haven't finished it. I have no idea why this is taking me this long. This is how, this is how, it's it's not a big book. This is how long it is and this is this is where I'm at. I read City of God in like both volumes in like six weeks, I think. I have no idea why this is taking me so long to get through this tiny book. I'm just telling you, it's just, I think it's just a focus issue. The other thing that I'm, the other book that I'm reading, this is with my, my book group, is uh, Beauty for Truth's Sake. And so this is the same group that I read through The Benedict Option with, which I did not like. I'll do a review on that. I mean, I don't normally do reviews on books that I don't like, but that one I spent over two months on and I'm going to do a review on it. This one I like so much better. It's um, by Stratford Caldecott and uh, you were just reading a chapter a week and even this, I, I'm behind. I need to catch up on my for this week's meeting. The other thing that I read was um, The Princess and the Goblin by George MacDonald and I read this multiple times before. Um, our issue of an unexpected journal is going to be is going to feature George MacDonald. So I had decided that I was just going to do an essay on one of his fairy tales, and I thought, okay, I'm going to do do the Princess and the Goblin. And I had in my head that I was going to write about one particular thing, and then I read this again so I could have it fresh in my mind as I was writing the essay, and it ended up. I wrote something completely different than I thought I was going to, which was kind of interesting. So as far as what I'm going to read this next month. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm going to be continuing to read this. So I'm going to finish uh, The Beauty for Truth's Sake. Hopefully I can finish Nicomachean Ethics because this is just lame that I haven't so far. And also I submitted a chapter proposal for a collaborative book on culture and theology and 
my proposal was for, um, it was on Alice in Wonderland, the, the books, and also kind of the interaction between that and Tim Burton's movie. And so even if it doesn't get accepted, I'm still going to write that essay and probably submit it somewhere else. So I need to read those. I need to decide what I'm writing for our spring 2021 issue of an unexpected journal. I had something in my head and I don't even remember what it was now. I don't even remember. I need to be tracking like my <laughs> my writing thoughts a little bit better. So anyway, but you know what? I'm not going to stress about it because this is just a really weird year and I just figure if I'm going forward and accomplishing something, I'm going to call that good. Like I literally, this is my planner for 2020, which now that I look at this, this rainbow <laughs> cover is kind of ironic for this year, but I literally have to write down every single day what I do so I can look back and remember. Cause sometimes, you know, the week is gone. I'm thinking, what did I do this week? So I write down, you know, things that I did, my devotions, what I read, uh, what I worked on. Even if I didn't finish what I worked on, I just wrote it down so I could have, look back and say, yes, I was actually going forward and accomplishing something. And I think, I think just right now, that's just kind of what we have to do is just kind of get through the day and just start over again the next day. So anyway, that's been my reading. So just celebrate the small wins. Just recognize what you are doing and then accomplishing. And you know what? Just keep going. Just little by little, keep going like my nicomation ethics. Eventually, I will get through it. So anyway, hope you have a great day and a great week. And let me know what you're reading. I'll see you next time.